Welcome to the Harkin home. Behind this door we have lots of critters and we want to show you all of them. Let's go. <laughs> Before we introduce you guys to the animals at the Harkin home, we have a special announcement. Earlier in a previous video, we announced we were doing a giveaway on the channel, and today is a special day where we are going to be announcing the details of that giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of this video so you can get all the details on this sick giveaway, and you won't miss out on it. We know y'all are ready to meet some animals, so let's take you on the grand tour. First stop, the fish tank. One of the fish tanks. We actually got this fish tank at a yard sale. And it was an awesome buy. Could not pass it up. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars for this. For a tall forty-gallon <laughs> tank. And we have some native fish from the lake we live on in there. We have a red ear and a bluegill and a couple of warmouth. And we're feeding them some flake food for you right now. Someone's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this big fella was the first inhabitant of our fish tank. And he has just been living a glorious life in here as a big old crawfish. Here's the main attraction of our living room. This is a big 75 gallon freshwater tank and it is equipped with some largemouth bass and a couple of crappie that we've gotten from a pond. And uh, they're really cool, they're awesome to watch. We just have, we have five fish in there and they're all super hungry predators and we're gonna give this largemouth bass a worm to eat. You ready buddy? Are you ready Jay? Mm -hmm. Do that one one. Better hurry. There he is, he got it. We'll feed the other ones later, but I just wanted to give you a little look at this tank here. Making our way into the fun room. We got Jay hanging out on the couch. What you got, Jay? My turtle friends. Oh man, those are my turtle friends too. <laughs> They're the life of the party in oh, this yeah. room. They're so much fun. They all have like a really funny personality. So this is Antonio. He's our three-legged turtle. Super cute. This is Tina. She was rescued from a dog's mouth. You're welcome. And this is Eugenio, the turtle that we saved from the road. We decided to stick with the name Eugenio. We asked in the comment section if we, if y'all could come up with a good name for him, but a lot of y'all like the name Eugenio, so we just kept that name. And we kind of like it too. Yeah, look at him. He looks just like a Eugenio. <laughs> More cute, Charl. Come here, Sprinkles. Hey, buddy. This is our speckled king snake. His name is Sprinkles. The kids that come over to the house named him that. And uh, he's super awesome. He loves to be handled. And his handling time's gonna be short right now because we gotta show you some more snakes. Oops, spoiler alert. We got more snakes. Put your back, Sprinkles. <laughs> Martha is so sneaky. Okay, so this is our green snake. Her name is Martha. Um, Cole's Meemaw actually got her for us as a housewarming gift. Um, and she is absolutely terrified of snakes, so that was crazy that she actually caught this snake and gave it to us. So, her name is Martha, so we decided to name the green snake after Meemaw, therefore her name is Martha. This is our pet water moccasin. JK, this is actually a broad-banded water snake, but it looks a lot like a water moccasin. It could be easily misidentified as one. She's super cool. She's pretty tame for a water snake. Most water snakes have pretty at pretty bad attitude, but she has calmed down quite nicely with a lot of handling. And we got a big surprise just yesterday. I knew that she was a female, and I thought she might be gravid because she was kind of big, but we were definitely informed that yes, she was a gravid female because Put your bag in here. We have another snake in here we're gonna show you also. But yesterday I peeped into the tank and out of nowhere, babies! Look at all the baby broadbanded water snakes. <laughs> I think there's 11 of them. I didn't get an official count, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven baby broadbanded water snakes. Ooh. And yes, these are a non venomous, harmless species. The water snakes have live birth. And here is the product. Super cool snakes. We're going to be letting these go out in the lake very soon. We just wanted to show you them before we did. So now let's move over to the Caterpillar Center. We got monarchs. Oh, and we have one that just came out. Cool. <laughs> We've been raising monarch, butterfly, caterpillars all summer long, and we have successfully... Yeah, look at how many we have up here. I mean, you can see through the, through the, through the uh, material, but we have so many chrysalises and cr empty chrysalis shells from, su from successful butterfly rearing. And if you would like to see how we reared these monarch butterflies successfully to adults, we have another video on, on our channel that we will link in the description below. Okay, Jeremy, get that butterfly out and release yeah. it. It is ready to go. A gentle grab. Let's take it outside. You ready, buddy? In three, two, one. We'll see you later. Good job, Jay. <laughs> but that's not all, folks. We have a couple of more caterpillars in here that we are rearing. Inside of here, we are actually raising banded sphinx moth caterpillars. And let me know if you've seen a cooler caterpillar than this, because it's gonna be hard to beat. This is a pretty big banded sphinx moth caterpillar. They have a couple of different color morphs as caterpillars, and this is the most remarkable one of the three. We've had this one for about a week, and what we do, we just bring the plant in and put it inside of a vase, and uh, keep, keep giving them fresh food, and eventually they will get big, and they'll go underground and form a big cocoon. And then once that process is done, they will become adult. They will emerge as adults. Okay. And they need some more plant. We'll have to go outside and get them some more. Here in my hands is my buddy Bagheera. He is a big leopard gecko. I love leopard geckos. I've had leopard geckos since I was 10 years old, and I actually have two more leopard geckos in the living room that we're gonna show you. I have my very first leopard gecko that I ever got inside the living room. I can't wait for you to meet him. But Bagheera is a big, sweet boy. He has to be in his own tank because my two males, they don't get along. Don't ever put two male leopard geckos together because they will fight. And Bagheera is just a big baby. Ready to go back to your tree, buddy? Yes, master. All right. So, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, back to my tree. Back to my tree, my blue sand. I'll see you later, bring crickets. We're back in the living room where our final two leopard geckos reside. This is my little female, uh, Lisette. I've had her for six years. She is a dwarf leopard gecko. I didn't know that when I first bought her, but she never, she never got big. So I'm assuming that she is a dwarf leopard gecko. If any leopard gecko enthusiasts in the room would like to chime in on that, let me know in the comments. She's super sweet and super pretty. And now I'm ready to introduce to you the longest tenured pet in our household. Actually, it's been with me since I was very little. This is my very first leopard gecko that I got whenever I was 10 years old. I'm 24 now, so this leopard gecko is 14 years old. This is Lex, and Lex has been there with me through everything. He's a real buddy of mine. I can't imagine my life without this leopard gecko. He can't talk, but he's super sweet. He's super chubby and just super awesome. He loves people, he loves to be held, he loves snacks, especially little grasshoppers. Those are his favorite. <laughs> if you think we lack furry friends, guess again. So right here we have Brittany. Say hi, Brittany. She's our sweet little old dog. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. But then there's also Buggy. Buggy, come here. Buggy, since when are you not? <laughs> Now we have Buggy, the world's laziest dog. <laughs> we call her Buggy because she she likes to eat bugs, especially dragonflies. Dragonflies are her favorite. They're a delicacy to her. <laughs> but sometimes we can't get her up. <laughs> she doesn't like to do much. Come here, Buggy. Come on, Buggy. Come on, Buggy. Come here. See? 
lazy. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Hey, Brittany. Oh, Brittany's so sweet. Look at her little face. In her face, just the sweetest. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed meeting the animals of the Harkin household, but now we're going to transition over to the next part of the video where we discuss our big giveaway. We've been looking forward to doing this for a little while now, and the day is finally here where we get to discuss the details of the giveaway. Throughout the making of this video or prior videos, you may have noticed the wall behind me. Behind me, I have amassed this awesome collection of insects, butterflies, moths, beetles, you have it, and we just really love making these insect frame display cases. And we think that they make a great addition to any home that they can really brighten up a home. And that is exactly the gift that we want to give away in this video. Here I have a custom made butterfly and moth insect display case, and we are not giving away just one, not two, but three. Three of these custom made butterfly and moth display cases. All the butterflies and moths you see inside of this, this display case, as well as the other two display cases we're going to be giving away, were hand caught, pinned, and framed by Jay and I. We have a lot of fun doing this. It's just a hobby of ours. We love insect collecting. And it's another hobby we're looking forward to showing on our channel. And three lucky winners are going to be winning these custom frames. To be a winner of one of these shadow boxes, it's actually really easy. All you gotta do is like the video, be subscribed to the channel, and leave us a comment letting us know what your favorite animal was that we showed you in our house today. We're going to be using a random comment generator to be selecting our three lucky winners. And the winners will be selected on Wednesday, September the... 19th. 19th. <laughs> <laughs> so leave us a comment and maybe you will be the next owner of one of these beautiful shadow boxes. And be on the lookout for future giveaway videos on the channel. We're, We're Cole and Jay, Jay, and we will see you on the next video.